people. How you doing out there today? Ah, uh, this is Moner from Fill My Cup Ministries. Um, uh, I'm just here today because I couldn't be here yesterday. <laughs> I had appointments and man, I tell you, I hate going to any doctors, eye doctors, no matter what they are, but I had to go to an appointment. So you didn't see me because I couldn't see myself. I couldn't hardly see in the room. It was too bright in here and all that, trying to adjust your eyes. You know how that is when you go out to those places to get new glasses or whatever. Uh, but anyway, um, I am happy to be back here today with you guys. A lot is going on. I'm sure you've been reading your newspaper or looking at the news or looking at your iPad or your iPhone. And you've been seeing all this quake activity going on. Uh, we had a quake, a uh, big quake, 7.9. I heard 7.9. I heard 7.8. I heard all kind of uh, readings on that quake. But uh, over in the Honduras area. And I, I was just looking at it because I was saying, oh, my God. You know, you got Jamaica oh, not too far from there, you know. And I was looking at that yesterday. Uh, anyway, today we're going to be focusing on carrying the light, carrying the light. Uh, I was just look, looking at a, a message I got from uh, Randall Brewer today. Randall, thank you so much. Right in tune, right in tune with what I want to talk about, being a light. And uh, also a pot, Pastor D, Apostolic Fire. He's got a message for the church leaders uh, globally, uh, all people globally, whoever are doing missionary work, apostles, uh, leaders, uh, uh, teachers, uh, preachers, uh, uh, evangelists, uh, pastors, uh, uh, whoever, you know, prophets or prophetess. He's talking to all of us today, and he have a real short, powerful message. I'm going to post it down below. But one message today that I sent out last night to a lot of you guys on email, I'm going to play it live and listen to it uh, with you because I really believe uh, uh, Dan Shelley is right on, on target uh, about America and, and the world with birth pains. The birth pains have started uh, and so the times of sorrows is right behind it. And so we have all these people dying in California. We got all these blunt mudslides. We got... Just every kind of thing going on around the world you can, that you can imagine happening. Uh, the Storm Hunter. Storm Hunter is up on the East Coast. And so uh, Tennessee, I was just listening to Paul Begley talk about the report. Uh, I was reading some things last night that really made me to go like, wow, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it's just so much happening. Uh, I will post these links down below. Uh, I was looking at Real Thing TV, and he was talking about Britain's radiation fog choking, the choking fog uh, to be hit in the UK. And then I was looking at this thing the other day where they have the chlorine leak, uh, injured 15 people in Fresno, California. And you know, we got all these, that's what's going to kill us, all these fumes and uh, contaminations in the air. And you know, we got chemtrails all the time going around. Uh, and every time I seem to step in Walmart, I have to pray and put angels all on the four corners where I go into place. And then I'm telling you, you it's like I come out, I, I have to go home and take an echinacea. I don't know what's in the air, but I know something's going on, people, all around us every day. And I have on the screen here my friend Nasasi over in Uganda. And I like her so much, and I thought I'm going to use a few of her uh, photos today. Because, you know, it's time for us to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Absolutely. And so um, I'm just going to be, uh, just had her up here. And this gentleman here is, is handicapped. Uh, seemed like he had some issues with his leg, his maimed leg here. And she's talking to him about the gospel, had passed out some Bibles here some months last year. I think, so. I know it was last year. Uh, so, um, and I'm just saying, you know, we, we need to be understanding it's time to go into all the world and preach the gospel, as I was saying, as a po Pastor D. Apostolic Fire is saying, as my friend here uh, from Dan Shelley is saying. And, um, and I'm going to just be playing Dan Shelley here in a minute, but I'm going to first read Isaiah 11 to you guys, and then I'm going to come back to Dan Shelley uh, video and close it out, okay? So... Um, Wow, I'm telling you, people, we're in the end at the end. And then I don't want to forget Randall Brewer. So 
I'm going to probably read Isaiah, and then I'm going to go to uh, Randall Brewer and read what he has to say. And then I'm going to close it out with uh, Dan Shelley, a video, okay, at the end here. But I'm telling you, people, uh, you know, if you out there sitting on the sidelines and you haven't made up your mind to do something for Yeshua, if he's doing something for you. I know yesterday when I was even at the eye doctor, I was uh, sitting there in my, and the, they had me waiting in that room a while. So I just started praying to Yeshua in tongues. I just started praying to my father in tongues. And I was, I was telling him to give me a blessing, Father. Uh, you know, every time you go to these places, you know, the eye doctor and get new glasses or whatever, it costs sometimes 700 and 800 and 900 and a thousand dollars just to get a frame and get your glasses and blah, blah, blah. And I'm talking to Yeshua about it because I'm like, you know, my husband not working anymore, really. We just doing ministry, a nonprofit ministry and getting a, a have a real strict income. Uh, and so I'm like, Father, you know, I need a blessing this year. You know, I need a blessing. And so I, I go out, back out and to get my glasses, and and I know he, the Holy Spirit whispered to me, uh, you need to talk to them about the eye insurance. You have eye insurance on those glasses. You have insurance. I said, oh, yeah, I almost forgot about that. And, you know, and I mentioned it to them, and they looked and said, oh, yeah, it covers your glasses, so you just have to trade in your old ones, and we'll give you a new one for free. So hallelujah, praise the Lord, I get new glasses for free. And I was just so happy to hear that. And I even trade. And, and so I just praise God for that because he opened that door. You know, because I wouldn't have mentioned it. They wouldn't have mentioned, to, mentioned it to me. If I wouldn't have mentioned it, they wouldn't have not mentioned it to me. So we need to be listen to the small, still voice and let the Lord lead us in all our situations. Whether we go into the doctor, whether we go into the hospital, whether we go on, on a trip, traveling, whatever it may be. We need to be putting prayers before ourselves over our doorposts, over our door gates, over our children, over ourselves every day, every day, twice a day, three times a day, okay? It's really, really important, people, right now to keep yourself covered with the blood of the Lamb, okay? And if you haven't given your life to Yeshua HaMashiach, I'm going to let Dan Shelley tell you why you should be, okay? The birth pains are all over the place, absolutely. And so uh, I'm just going to look at another picture here. And that's another one of the pictures I like so much. You see, she went, she's over there in Uganda and she's preaching and she's reaching the people. Uh, Bob Barbara is giving Bibles out to all in all the world for anyone who wants free Bibles. Uh, I love him so much. Uh, he's helping his brothers a lot get the, get the word out uh, over in Uganda, over in Kenya, over in um, Nigeria, of sure. Nigeria, my brother's in Nigeria. So we need to be supporting him. I support him. I, I just ask you guys to support him much as you can. Uh, what is it? His website is uh, www.dreamandvision.org. Dreamandvision.org. And so uh, always be supporting him because he's supporting so many thousands of people all over the world. He has a much larger ministry than we do right now. But I know Yeshua is growing with us and we, we're growing. But... You know, I, I just love to support him. He's like my co-partner in the ministry. So uh, I'm just so happy for Bob and so uh, excited for all the people uh, getting Bibles and having Bibles. And so, um, and this is another picture here where she, oh, oops, so come back to me. Come back, come back, come back. Don't go away. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is another picture where she just greeting the brothers here. Uh, probably talking them to about read the bo read the gospel, not just to have the Bible to sit on the shelf, but to read the word and st study the word, because that's the only way we're gonna know the word. And Yeshua say He's gonna put it on our hearts. And so, you know, one day when they take the Bibles away, we have it on our hearts, we have it on our minds, we have it in our souls. Like I love the scripture uh, that says uh, Psalms eleven three. Psalms 11.3 says, wow, I love Psalms 11.3. I just was looking at it this morning. Now I got to go find it real quick here because I want to read it to you. Psalms 11.3 says, <clears throat> and I, I know it by heart. I used to know it by heart. I should know it by heart. It says here, if the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? When everything's broken down, taken away, and, and destroyed, it's true. What can you do? Nothing. So we need to be working while it is day, people. Working while it is day. Hallelujah. Working while it is day. So um, let me go over here to Isaiah. 
And then I get to Randall Brewer. And uh, I could just leave that picture there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So anyway, it says here, uh, Randall uh, in uh, Isaiah 11. And oh, I'm I'm reading it from here. I'm sorry. I'm going to the I'm going to the sword and read it. Well, you can see it with me. Uh, I'm I'm gonna read it from the Son of Man version. I decided to stick. Go ahead and read it from that version that my husband likes so much. And it says here, the righteous reign of the branch at the top here. A shoot, Father, cover me with your blood. Fill me with your Holy Spirit as I read your word. Help people to understand your word. Father, receive your word. And I ask it in the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. A shoot will sprout. A shoot will sprout from the stump of Jesse. And a branch out of his roots will bear fruit. The Ruach of Yahweh will rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of instruction and might. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of Yahweh. His delight will be the fear of Yahweh. He will judge by what his eyes see, nor decide by what his ears hear. Instead, he will judge the poor with righteousness and decide fairly for the humble of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips. He will slay the wicked. Hallelujah. I think it's going to take a lot for Yeshua to get rid of this wicked world, people. It's not going to take a lot. He could just breathe on them. You know, it's like they say, I love the song about the roar, you know, the roar of the lion. And he's coming back as a lion, not as a, a lamb, not as a little baby. He's coming back as a lion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So it says, you know, just the breath of his lips, he was slayed, the wicked. Righteousness would be the belt of his waist and faithfulness the belt around his hips. The wolf will live, the wolf will live with the lamb, and the leopard will lie down with the young goat, the calf, the young lion, and the fattened calf together. A little child will lead them. Hallelujah. Our children are rising up today, too. The teens, the children. Uh, I think Sundar was talking about how Yahweh is going to use the young people in the end times. And they're going to be sounding the trumpet, taking the, the, uh, the, the, you know, taking it out to all the world. And no baby's going to be born speaking the word of God. So we know it's true, people. We need to be understanding the kind of God that we have, the kind of God that we serve. Okay. Hallelujah. So it says here, um, the, uh, the cow and the bear were grazed together and the young will lie down together. The lion will eat straw like the ox. A baby will play over the hole of the snake and the weaned child will put his hand on the serpent's den. Oh, speaking of that, uh, the hole of the snake I was reading yesterday, I think, uh, ben, um, Pastor uh, Pastor Paul Begley was talking about an article yesterday. It broke my heart. It was talking about an article in India where uh, the leopards came out and, and grabbed these two babies, two kids, and just ate them alive, people. It just was so sad. But, you know, they're having a lot of these things going on in the camps and, and the villages in India, and the people have to really watch out for the wild animals. And I'm thinking about all the wild animals around us here today in America, all the bears and all the uh, lions and the uh, mountain lions and all of them come into the city now. So we have to be aware, you know, because the animals are hungry. Men have disturbed, destroyed the uh, vegetations and they, uh, you know, their environments and fires are taking over and everything. So the animals are coming to the city trying to find something to eat, trying to go in the garbage cans, whatever it may be. Okay. So we have to watch out for the wild animals wherever we are living right now. A baby will play over the hole of the snake and the weaned child will put his hand on the serpent's den. Wow. They will not hurt nor destroy on all my holy mountain for the earth will be full of knowledge of Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse will stand as a banner for the ethno linguistic peoples. I don't like that word. The ethno linguistic nations will seek him out and his resting place will be glorious. On that day, the Lord will again extend his hand to recover the remnant of his people who remain in Assyria, Egypt, 
Pathros, Cush, Elam, Shanai, Hamath, and the Isles of the Sea. He will set up a banner for the ethno-linguistic nations and will gather the outcasts of Israel and the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Hallelujah. He will turn aside the envy of Ephraim and the hostilities of Judah will be cut off. Ephraim will not envy Judah and Judah will no longer be hostile to Ephraim. Instead, they will swoop down on the Philippines Philistine hills of the west, and together they will plunder the people of the east. They will attack Edom and Moab, and the people of Ammon will obey them. Yahweh will completely destroy the gulf of the sea of Egypt. With his scorching wind, he will wave his hand over the Euphrates River and will divide it into seven streams. Oh my goodness. So it can be crossed over in sandals. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord is just wonderful. Awesome God we have, people. Awesome God we serve. There will be a highway for the remnant of his people that return from Assyria as there was for Israel in their coming up from the land of Egypt. Hallelujah. So that's the end of that. And I'm going to get over here to uh, Randall Brewer. <clears throat> Let's go to Randall Brewer here. And so I'm just going to read here real quick what he wrote me. <laughs> Such a wonderful brother in the Lord. I love him so much. Met him uh, last year, uh, what was it, a year ago or two years ago now? A year, a year and a half ago or so in Colorado on his uh, vacation. He took us out to dinner. I just love him so much. Just a wonderful man of God. So anyway, Randall J. Brewer should have his uh, online magazine out uh, called uh, destinwithchrist.com, uh, www.destiny, I'm sorry, destinywithchrist.com. A calm, okay. If you go there and you can see the author's part up there, you could go and scroll down and you'll see me and my husband's profile, uh, which he uh, put on his magazine as well. But other people profiles are on there as well. Uh, so uh, go take a look at that if you get a chance. Okay. But, uh, I love Randall so much. Let's see what he has to say to me here. I haven't even read it yet. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. Um, he says here, uh, dear friends, as I'm sure you notice, time seems to be flying by faster than it's ever been. In the blinking of an eye, a month quickly passes by, then a year and another year. I'm excited by all this because that means our journey to heaven was here. Our journey to heaven will be here sooner than we think. Hallelujah. I was thinking about heaven the other day. And I was mesmerized by how wonderful it would be to be in the presence of Jesus and to be surrounded by all our fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord. My thoughts then returned to the present tense reality. I looked around me and see foul smelling and dirty talking sinners everywhere I turn. One person takes the name of the Lord in vain and another talks about how he's going to get drunk this weekend. I asked myself, what am I doing here in this awful place? I then hear God say to me, you are right where you, you are right where I want you to be. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. You are right where I want you to be. I was the light of the world when I walked the earth and now so are you. Let your light shine. Now I understand. For many of these people, my light is the only light they'll ever see. Oh, Jesus, let my light shine in this dark, sinful place. Below is uh, a shout video here. He got called the light of the world, followed by my shout message. Let your light shine. I'm going to read let your light shine. And I will post this link down below uh, under Randall. Um, I always put his name down below and I will post that by that. You can all, always click that on. I would click it on, but I have this other video to show uh, from uh, my friend here in UK. So I'm going to be showing that one. Let your light shine. Okay. By Randall J. Brewer. I love the morning hours. The crack of dawn is by far my favorite time of day. And I'm truly an early to bed, early to rise type of person. Oh, Randall, I'm not. I love to be up late at night and get up real late in the morning. <laughs> That's my husband. Uh, anyway, I'm a night owl. So I guess everybody's got different strokes for different folks. Uh, the, the morning dew brings up freshness to the air like no other time of day and countless chirping birds create a rhythm sound I call nature's sympathy. Every 
Everything else is peaceful and still and a sense of tranquility is all around. I call this heaven on earth. Recently as the first that rays recently as the first rays of the rising sun cast its radiant light across my freshly cut lawn i saw something spectacular that left me memorized in its wake the dew on a single blade of grass caught hold of one of these shining rays of light and sparkled brilliantly like a perfectly cut diamond Oh, the splendor of that moment. No other piece of grass was affected by this phenomenon. And this simple braid of grass stood out all by itself. As I watched this natural wonder, I heard the Lord tell me that this is how believers are supposed to stand out in a world of darkness. This is what it means to let your light shine. This single braid did not shine on its own, but was a reflection of a higher source of power and energy. Hallelujah. And just as that green blade of grass needed the morning dew to sparkle, so we also need the washing of the water of the word to reflect the goodness and the glory of the great God of the universe. This is how we become a witness for Jesus Christ. My deepest prayer is may it be in my life as it was with that single shining blade of grass. Lord, make it so. Hallelujah. Oh, that is really wonderful, Randall. That is really wonderful. Thanks for sharing it with me. Um, I, I, I know I, I don't want to make this a too long of a video. I got 21 minutes here. I don't know if I could click that little video there and see what that says. Um, it's going to end in a, in a day, a single day. The end of the world is going to happen in a day. No. If you read your Bible properly, it says birth pains. And this is what this is about. That, like a woman, when she goes into labor, she'll start getting contractions. And at first they start slow and they're quite far apart from each other. And it's a pain. Ooh. And then a couple of hours later, pain. Ooh. And then the pain gets more and more frequent and more and more painful. And then eventually the contractions contractions are like bang 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 right next to each other serious pain well the bible talks about being in the birth pains and what we are going through right now is the birth pains and and guys in america you are going through the birth pains it's not just america it's worldwide but the focus and the emphasis is on america because whether you uh, agree or disagree with me america is the last end time mystery babylon I've done a lot of research on this, a lot of prayer, prayer on it. You pray about it and weigh it up with the Bible for yourself. But I know that America is the last Babylon. And that's why you heard an eclipse go across your country as a warning from our King of Kings as what is to come into you. Right? So people are banging on that the world is going to end in a single day, but it won't. The birth pains, the contractions, the pains that we are feeling are events that are happening. In America, all you need to do is look back since that eclipse and Revelation 12 sign and you will see the birth pains for yourself. First, you have major hurricanes come up for your country. Texas was flooded up to their roofs, man. I had people on my personal Facebook sharing videos and pictures of their homes literally underwater. What was that? It was a birth pain. Then, California fires, man. Pretty much, oh my goodness, the fires there. I saw it on the news. People's houses burned down, gone. Streets after streets after streets. Houses gone, burnt to the ground. What was that? It was a birth pain. And then the East Coast and along the north of America in Canada. Snow, but not just normal levels of snow. The pictures that I've i seen that was shared with me on Facebook. My goodness! It was like beyond people's houses, man. Like, flipping heck, man. And like, I, I saw a video last night that it was so cold uh, a couple of weeks ago that it was like minus 50 or something. It was colder than on the surface of Mars. I saw that in a video last night. That was the east north coast of America. What was that? A birth pain! And then this, this was only 24 hours ago. This happened last night. It happened in minutes. Fire scorched land, couldn't hold rain. So mud poured down from the Glendora foothills below. It's happened. 
this guy, it looks very bad. It hasn't been this bad in a long time. It wasn't like this 20 minutes ago. They're getting out while they can. But you're not taking anything with you, you're just scrapping yeah, it off. Yeah, we got my, my laptop, I don't need too much, too many things, everything's going to be fine. Right? It's all replaceable. Just a couple of inches of rain, and you can see the effects here when the ground, which is burned by the fire, can't cool all of this. And something you'll notice the debris. It shows it's been scarred by wildfire. A thousand homes are under a mandatory evacuation order because they sit below the scorched hills. Two months ago, it was wildfire. Today, mud into their pools and backyards. California has been in drought for months. The sudden rain caught some by surprise. Two people were found stranded in a tree trying to escape the rising water of the Los Angeles River. Take a closer look. It's not just people, but they're two dogs. You can see the rescuers, the Los Angeles firefighters, as they carefully move the front animals out of the tree, one by one, to the nearby rescue boat. And there's more rain coming. Just bad news for a kid that is crailing. They chose not to listen to the mandatory evacuation order. They're one road in and out, two covered in mud, to drive. Because you can't get out. No, not right now. Until they clear this, we're stuck here. What has Mother Nature been like for the last couple of months for you? What, we had fire, drought, and now torrential rain. So, yeah, pretty much everything. Yeah, we did all four elements at this point. I think we're, we're done at this point with any more. <laughs> any more? This is only the birth pains, mate. you got far worse coming to you than this. So no, the world will not end in a single day. Can you see it? Birth pains. And guys, it is only going to get worse from here. More contractions. Closer and closer and closer. More frequent, more painful. Okay? These contractions are end time events. Hurricanes, flooding, fire. Drought, fire, mudslides, volcanoes, earthquakes, tsunamis, you name it. It's all coming. It's only going to get worse from here. It's going to be more frequent and more common, okay? Now listen, I don't know what it is, okay? I don't know why some of you guys in America have not woken up to this yet, but you, you really need to take notice, okay? This is not a joke. Our Lord Jesus has warned us by si signs in the sun, moon and stars you guys you need to wake up now you need to stop sleeping Amen. this is the time to prepare yes you know, we're not talking about the end of the world coming way off in the future somewhere it's already happening it's happening right now the birth pains are happening now are you going to take notice have a look at this it happened in minutes it happened in minutes it happened in minutes the sudden rain suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape united nations are declaring peace and safety they chose not to listen to the mandatory evacuation order they chose not to listen to the lord jesus warnings it happened in minutes it will be suddenly upon you and you will not be able to escape by some by surprise saint's bloods were found in her it's time to take notice now, guys. If you are a non-Christian watching this video, the only way into heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ. In the Bible, the Bible says, the Lord Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, through the Lord Jesus. He died on the cross for the sins of this world. The only way into heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins and give your life to the Lord Jesus now so that you'll be guaranteed a place in heaven through our Lord Jesus' grace and love for you. The Lord, he loves you. 
He does not desire that any perish. He did not create hell for mankind, but for the devil and his angels. Hell is a real place. It is real. Okay? But the Lord, he did not create it for mankind. He desires that nobody perishes, that all will call on his name, that all will come to know him. Give your life to the Lord Jesus today. Time is running out. In fact, it's ran out. As you can see, the birth pains are happening right now. And guys, what's coming, it, what is coming is going to be far worse, far, far, far worse for you guys in America uh, and worldwide. But the focus is on America, end time Babylon. If you are already a Christian and you're awake to this stuff, you, you can no longer take on the attitude of let's just chill out here. You need to prepare. OK, this destruction is not for us. It is for the evildoers who will not repent because the sin has reached our Lord's throne and enough is enough. If you are a Christian, we have safe places or safe havens or safe refuges. Call it whatever you like. We have safe locations around the world and in America. We have 11 safe places or safe refuges in America alone. In the description below is a link to Christian Communities World Safe Locations. This is a place where you can prepare with like-minded Christians who live within your region. You'll be placed into a group on Facebook, a digital group with them from your region, and you will have a safe location that has already been found for you. The idea of this is that the next birth pain that comes along on the next destructive event, if it's really bad and it affects the area you live, you group together with the, the local Christians in your region and you head for that safe location. Because, guys, eventually things are going to get so bad that, like in America, martial law is going to be declared. There are thousands of FEMA camps right the way across the U.S. right now. I remember that Obama amen, ordered amen. 35,000 guillotines. You know, the U.N. have got mi milli millions, literally millions of uh, vehicles, military vehicles parked up in airports in Florida and uh, different parts of the US, you know, martial law will come to the USA. Guys, all it takes is for one big event. Okay, what we're seeing right now is bad. You know, in that storm last night, 13 people lost their lives, you know, and I'm sure that in the Californian fires, people lost their lives. I know that people lost their lives in the Texas floods and hurricanes, you know, but when one of these big events, like the West Coast, Cascadia, subduction zone, when that goes off, you'll have a massive tsunami that will come in and wipe out most of the West Coast. Thousands, hundreds of thousands will die. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands. And if that happens, and it's not, it's not if, because in America they say that this is overdue. The big one is overdue. When that happens, which will take people off guard, as you've seen in this video, sudden destruction will fall upon them and they will not be able to escape. You know, and even the news report, people were caught surprised. Within minutes, there was a massive downfall. OK, that tsunami will hit very quickly without much warning. OK, and when that happens, what will most likely happen is martial law will be declared uh, across your land, USA. OK, and things are going to go downhill real bad. But when that time happens, you as a Christian will have a safe place to go to with your brothers and sisters in the Lord that live in a local region to you. All you need to do is click in the description, click on the link to Christian Communities World Safe Locations, hook up with others on there. We'll join. We'll meet you on there. I'll meet you on there. I'll make sure that you're placed in the right location and community that is the closest to you. OK, and we're preparing as the Lord's people for his soon return. We will stick together in numbers and we will be safe. All right. These birth pains are only going to get closer and closer and closer. End time events. More closer, closer, closer. More painful, more painful, more painful. The big events are going to start kicking off soon. We've had the major, major signs. Revelation 12 was a major sign, man. Heralding in the biblical end of days. And already you can see the fruits of this. And you can see from that eclipse across America what has happened so far. Be on alert, guys. Do not be caught sleeping. Wake up now. It's time to prepare. Stick together with like-minded Christians. Prepare. Things are only going to get worse from here. Do not be caught off guard, surprised. We have been warned. We have been warned. Please, join us in the link below. I'll see you again soon. You be safe. God bless. All right, guys. <clears throat>
That's it. I, I passed that around last night. Uh, it's 41 minutes here. I'm going to end this. But if you got questions, you can always email me. But I am on this uh, Christian uh, community site on uh, Facebook. Uh, and you have the link down there where you can go and join that. They're part of that. Quite a few people in Colorado, actually, uh, New Mexico area, Colorado. Um, and we're just trying to get together where we can know when the sound of trumpet, we can, uh, you know, get going, uh, go meet somewhere where we can be together. And it's not a guarantee, okay, because I know they have, they have all these things in the forest. They have watching us in the forest. They're watching us all over. But, you know, Yeshua is the one can hide us. Like he told me, he will hide me in his, his provision and put me upon a rock. And I believe him. I believe him. So, you know, we need to be just trusting in Yeshua right now to guide us, direct us, uh, and, and show us what we need to be doing right now to prepare because this brother is not joking. I believe what he's saying. We are in the end, at the end. The birth pains are showing. Uh, and they're going to just get worse and not get better, but get worse, okay? Because they want peace. And it's no uh, peace is not going to happen. Peace is only in Yeshua HaMashiach. So, Father, be with us as we end this video today. I ask that you be with all the people watching. I ask that your Holy Spirit come and be in each home, Father. I ask that you send angels to chase them, Father, helping them to know we're in the end at the end. Uh, I, I lift up everybody today in the prayer box, every name on a piece of paper, every man, woman, boy, girl, all your people, all your scattered uh, missionaries, all your people working over in Africa, India, Asia, all over the world, Father, and the four corners of the earth, Yeshua. We ask that you send holy angels, Father, to be with your people. We ask that you arouse your people to wake up and be the light, Father, to be that light right now, Father, to sound the trumpet right now, Yeshua. It's time to come out of our closets, Father, and waken, awaken, awaken, awaken. It's time to shout for joy, Father, knowing that you are the only one can save us, Father. Hinduism, but Catholicism, Buddhism, uh, Allah, uh, 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 witchcraft, astrology, new age father all none of these things are going to save us father only your living blood your blood your blood your blood your blood you shed on the cross will keep us from damnation will keep us from hellfire father so i ask that people give their life to you today as it says in romans 10 9 and 10 give their life to you believe that you are the one that raised from the dead and and, and came back and dwelled among men where they can be have eternal life and be saved yeshua help them to see father open their eyes to see. I bind Satan and all his evil angels below beyond beneath, mentioned and unmentioned, known and unknown. I bind all evil spirits on assignment against this video, the people watching, uh, and we just loose the Holy Spirit, uh, that we loose the power of the blood of Jesus on the cross, on our families, our, our friends, uh, everyone watching today, uh, every name in the prayer box, Father. We just put loose angels to go before us and every task we undertake to protect us in all our ways, and we ask it all in the mighty name of Yeshua. We ask that you supply all the people needs today, whether it's physical, spiritually, mentally, Father. Be with each and every person, Father, watching. I just continue to pray for Tammy that she would be uh, 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 have a living testimony, that you would touch her from head to toe, Father, and deliver her from what she's going through in the hospital right now. We know other people out there have illnesses and, and things of that nature, cancer. We delete cancer today. We delete all the people out there, Father, that are, are just struggling with not knowing who who you are, Father, and we just ask that you send angels to be with them, wrestle them, send them visions, revelations, Father, show them, Father, the way, and we just thank you, and we ask all these blessings in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, amen and amen, people, I'm going to go, uh, thank you for bearing with me today, I know the video's kind of long, but um, making up for the two days, so don't worry about it, uh, so uh, God bless you guys, and I'll be back with another video, make sure you look at all the um, links I'm going to post in the description box and also go to the link here that uh, uh, my brother here from the UK just talked about. I will post it down below as well. You guys have a blessed day. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye. Love you so much. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye.